Hello y'all, welcome back to another episode of RNS. Today I want to focus on my project in the forest I told you guys about a good couple of episodes ago. You know, with the little village, a tower, lighthouses at the bay and a castle as well. I uh, want them all to have a consistent theme across all of them without them being too similar. And because that is quite a lot to do, um, I want to focus in this episode on getting something of a palette and like some building blocks going. So I can use those to make it a bit easier for myself and hopefully get a nice looking end result. But first, look at this. There is stuff happening at our base. This is, um, sure, has been working on the outside of our base, as you can see. It's not that much right now, but um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll keep you up to date with um, how this goes. All right, so let's show you guys again what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> Um, first we have we have uh, these paths here between all the stuff. I uh, laid them all out but haven't done anything with them. Then if we go a little further. Here we have the first of uh, my other buildings. This is a, a tower that is going to be um, in between our base and the little village I planned out. And you can see there's our base. Oh, you can even see the the walls already. And then on that side um, is going to be uh, the village. So let's show you. Here, already cleared out a lot of trees. I'm going to clear out more. But yeah, on this like little, um, I don't know how you would call this, but near this river, I was going to build a uh, little village and then all the way over there is the bay that you have seen in um, in the, the pirate episode and, and other episodes, I think, as well. And then over there is a uh, hill with um, where uh, I was uh, going to build a castle. I cleared out a bit, but I don't know why I haven't cleared out more. Anyway. So yeah, those things are um, what I'm going to uh, build here. I might think of other things as well but I don't know but yeah houses a tower a castle those are like pretty different types of buildings but I want them to feel thematically consistent so I want to make a, a palette like a certain um, uh, certain types of blocks um, and I also want like specific like structures that um, are common across them without them being like all identical um, so that is what I want to go work on in this episode. This is actually not the first time I tried something like this, like different buildings with the same style. Um, on an older server with friends, um, I tried that, but that server kind of died and never really became much, but I did um, plan out quite a bit already. So let's show you guys that. Well, here you can see what I'm talking about. As you can see, it's uh, not quite finished at all, but I, at least I, I built that tower and that house and then I got another little house over there and I started working on this church when I kind of lost interest. My idea was to make a little medieval village in like just this area, make a, uh, you know, couple houses and then a uh, marketplace here and then some more houses connected. I don't know. But yeah, as you can see, the buildings that I did do, they have very similar uh, palettes. They have used the same uh, building blocks, but they also use similar structures. So they all have these acacia um, beams as support, but then they also have these um, spruce slabs. It's like slats, or I don't know how you would call those. Oh, wrong button. And then um, these and the side pillars as well. So, and then the roofs are similar as well. So yeah, despite being quite different, um, they look uh, similar because they use similar structures. And my ideas as well, like, I don't want them to be too similar as well. I don't want to copy and paste like the same roofs, the same structures everywhere. You can see that um, this roof is quite steep 
well, it's very steep actually. And this roof is a, a bit less steep. And then this roof over here is like has a um, a like curve in it. And yeah, I wanted they all do have the um, the curving down um, in the middle. That's one thing that's in common. But yeah. I do wanted to challenge myself to make um, make them look distinct despite also looking very similar. And now the wonderful thing is um, this style actually is pretty similar to something that I would want to emulate in, in the RNS world. And you know, since this never really saw the light of day, well I, I built the tower in, in that world, this is a creative world, um, I can just, you know, reuse it. <laughs> Only thing is that these colors don't really fit in the in the taiga biome. I want to make sure that that all the materials um, that are used to build it are, are readily available in the in the biome itself, so that it does not look out of place at all. So yeah, for this episode, I want to take this tower and change it up so that it can fit in our world, and then maybe already build it as well, and then hopefully we have a, a, a bit of groundwork laid already. To, uh, to make other buildings as well. So yeah, I think I'm going to uh, go work on that for a bit now. Uh, before I do that though, um, there's one other thing I want to show you. This is not related at all, but this is a creative world for that server and I built some other interesting stuff. This is not that, that fancy, but I had this storage system that I was very proud of. It was under this lake that was naturally generated and then I had all my stuff here with a uh, nether portal as well and then if I was finished with my storage I could just go back up like that with the slime blocks I really love this design but yeah let's uh, go work on that tower here you can see some styles I tried out on the left there is the original and um, on the right there are three different types I tried I realized that actually <laughs> the vast majority of blocks used in this design already uh, occur in the, the taiga biome. The only thing is uh, that really is out of place is the acacia logs. And I just tried replacing those with different stuff. This is a uh, stripped spruce logs. Here are stripped dark oak logs. And here is regular spruce logs. I feel like this is, this is definitely too dark. And particularly when it's surrounded with those dark spruce trees in the, in the forest, I feel like it might look not look too good. Sp <laughs> Stripped spruce, on the other hand, has this like green tinge to it, which just mm, I don't quite know how good that looks. And it's very similar to the those spruce slabs, and I feel like there's not a clear enough color distinction there. But yeah, this one looks the nicest. But the problem with this is, well, dark oak obviously doesn't occur in the taiga. But I feel like, because it, it does feel like it fits pretty well with spruce wood. So I feel like, yeah, sure, why not? And for this one, I also added a lot of mossy stuff um, in between the cobble. Like, I haven't done that with the others, but yeah. I feel like this is the design that I uh, will be going for. And yeah, it's um, it's not at all that different, but I think it's uh, it's uh, it's a solid design already. So why should I change too much? So yeah, I think I'm just going to go uh, build this now in uh, our survival world. So I'll let you know how that goes. Okay, this is how far I've come. It's uh, not quite done yet, but I feel like I've made good progress. And you cannot deny that this is a tower. Um, the base is a bit different because like this angled ground here, I had to uh, modify it, like the lowest layer here. I feel like um, with what I had to work with, it, it worked out pretty well. Basically everything up until the highest point is, is finished now as well. Like the staircase is here. Well, uh, I'm going to think up of, of something that goes down here as well. Maybe it goes down further, but I'll have to think about that. So, yeah, 
it's already like a heckin' tower. So let's take a look at it from some different angles. Bonk. Well, here we are at our base. We cannot actually see the tower from here. We can, I feel like. Well, there it is. There's going to be another building over here. Um, I don't know how sure it's going to do that, but yeah. You can see it, and if you imagine like the... That is about the height that it goes. It goes a, a bit taller, I think. But uh, if the top is completely done, it, it's definitely noticeable from here. But the nice thing is, especially if you follow the path, you can really nicely see it going past, and then it goes out of view. And there it is in view again, and then it goes out of view again, and then it is in view again. Yeah, it's, it's um, I feel like it's nice that it's um, visible, but also not like completely, like you're still in a forest, so it's going to be hidden a bit. Now let's take a look from the, the village. And yeah, here it's very clearly visible. I made sure to cut a couple of trees, I think. I feel like it's uh, it's good that it's it's very clearly visible from the village. And then also from the, the castle. Here you can also clearly see it. You can also, if you get close enough, you can just about see the... the beacon but you can't quite see our base so that's too bad like you gotta oh whoa 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 gotta get it up here or even further still I don't know exactly how far you need to go but at a certain point you should be able to see it ah uh... okay there it is maybe it's just Bad luck that it's just out of view. I don't know. But anyway, I feel like, uh, yeah, this is going to look real nice. And it makes me excited for to continue this whole project and uh, see how far it can come. Now, before when I showed you those buildings in my creative world, I didn't really get into it too much. But I really want to nail down those basic elements that make up this tower and, and the other buildings that I built. So to do that, I made a couple of examples. All right, here we are in the world where I copied all those towers. And then on the other side here, I basically made a step-by-step -step guide on how to make one of these houses. So let's go through it all. First of all, here we have the block palette. These are the vast majority of blocks that I will be using. Um, start out by making the basic shape of your house in cobblestone then add some stripped dark oak pillars as support then add a spruce roof with these oak trimmings and then make it dip down a bit variations are possible but yeah something like that then add these andesite like smooth andesite decorational pillars then add these stone brick corner pieces on all sides as well then add these spruce slats i don't know really what else you would call them but yeah also on all sides then add some more details and also add an interior like this and like this and you basically have yourself a house And yeah, if you combine all these elements that I describe here, you will get certain basic shapes. And here I, I made some examples of, like, with different measurements, what shapes you can make with them. So yeah, these are just, like, windows or wall structures. You can put windows behind here, like I, um, I did behind here. I made some uh, windows in there. But yeah, here's some examples of that. And then you have also different examples of entrances, doors, you know. And here one with a window out front as well. So yeah, with this I feel like I've made a pretty decent toolkit with which we can pretty easily make uh, houses that are similar 
but not identical in a pretty fast and, and quick and easy way. Fast and quick and easy. Yeah, that's a whole lot I know. But yeah, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. There's one more thing I thought of though. Um, with my whole Shocklebox storage system thingy. I feel like it might be a good idea to at least every episode collect at least one thing for this. And I don't really have a lot of time anymore. But there are some things, like stone for example, that we just straight up have in our storage. So yeah, if we keep this up then uh, surely soon enough we will be finished with this. So, looking forward to that. Oh dang, it has become dark. Ah, uh, sleep. This is the worst place for a bed. Because all the scary things that come out of the forest. Anyway, yeah, this is the end of the episode. So, this is the part where we do this. Yay! So, this is the part where I don't know what to say. So, this is the part where... I just say bye.